Okay, I made this my son Zach. We're getting guys trying weird beers. And today I've been worried that I still have peanut butter in my beard for like five hours from breakfast, but I haven't told anyone. What? I have no idea if there's still peanut butter in my beard. Oh, go to the lemon see. No. No, I'm good? Yeah. <sighs> okay, all right. That's a load off my mind. Okay. <laughs> Should we go on then? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I was doing errands earlier and I was like, like, like I was just kind of struck my beard. I was like, and, and I felt something. I was like, oh, I hope that's not peanut butter. <laughs> Running around with peanut butter in your beard? Yeah. Just the worst pirate. Oh, peanut butter Pete. <laughs> Arr. Arr, give me something nutty and delicious. Fear the seas of PB beer. <laughs> Nutty and delicious? That's on the deep web. <laughs> no, it, it's a little bit closer to home than the deep web. <laughs> okay, before we dig ourselves too deep a hole, we got beers. Why? Because beeriness is cheeriness, and we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. And that should be at least once a week, which is how often we put videos out. So, so it kind of works out then. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but before we get to the beers, we got the palate cleanser. Yes, and we are back on our usual bullshit. We've dished the bird uh, this time around for just some some good old uh, standard blue agave blue, Jose Cuervo. Right, but it's not 100%. Uh, it's not 100% tequila, which means they could they could be mixing with this with anything. Are you sure? Because they say they got blue agave in it, which I don't doubt. But they, who knows what they put in, motor oil or, uh, you know, blended squid or toenail pairings. Well, I can't wait for us to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in for a penny and for a podiatrist. <laughs> I missed the vodka out. Le mou. Wow. Ah. Oh. I turned into Wario. <sighs> It's a me, Mario. Why does Mario say it's a me, Mario? Who is he addressing when he says that? Us. So he he doesn't meet characters on his on his adventures and go, hey, it's a me, Mario. Uh, well, does he ever say that to Princess Peach or uh, Snooky McFoo or <laughs> Mushroom Larry? Mi Miyamoto's favorite characters, <laughs> Snooky Magoo and Mushroom Larry. No, uh, Larry is, is actually one of the Koopa kids. <laughs> Larry? Yeah. <laughs> With his brothers, Moe and Curly. There's there's uh, Larry. There's Ludwig. No. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Ludwig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, does this... Uh, I mean, if, if Mario's I'm... bumping into people that he knows, why is he going into me, Mario? It's like, we know you're fucking Mario, buddy. You don't have to keep telling us. It's funny because because the, the whole it's a me thing. Uh, is he knocking on a door? Knock knock knock. Who is it? It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Let me in. I can't come in unless you welcome me. I'm not a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, Mario. I want to suck your blood. Oh no, no, I don't. Let me in. <laughs> Anywho, so now we've ascertained that Mario is a vampire. And he's got to be invited into your home. How could you, Charles? Charles? Uh, Charles Martinet, the the original voice of Mar Ma Mario. There was an original voice of Mario? Yeah. The really? person who said, it's a me, Mario. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I, I just thought Mario came out fully formed. I thought that was him. <laughs> Birth from Zeus's forehead <laughs> came the plumber. Okay, I don't know where the hell we're going. Anyway, so uh, let's get the, the, the beers and the stuff. And uh, so the first beer we have is uh, from Lavoie Design and Drafting, Inc. Oh. Don't know that one, actually. It's called 1992. It's a dry hopped IPA. Or as they say in the Belle Provence de Quebec, Houblonnet à sec. 
They're doing a what to my sack? Well, that's the thing. Uh, kids don't want to deep web and uh, search this because you'll come up with some uh, pretty unsavory things. Now, wait a second. This is, this is from Brasserie Took the Brew. This is so deceptive. You know, well, I feel like to. It says Lavoie Design and Drafting right on the front, but that's not the name of the beer company. It's Took the Brew. Well, now, hang on. Okay, so it's it's something uh, made to to honor Lavoie Design and Drafting. Uh, if I had to guess from from a lot of the label, which is a lot of like embroidery and like uh, almost like like knitted sweater work, but there's some like blueprints. Yeah, this is a very confusing beer. Very interesting. I'm I'm kind of curious to see how it tastes. And then from Perth Brewery. Hey, Perth Brewery. Who's not? They're not a. Uh, they're not uh, from down under. Nope. Uh, this is Calypso IPA. <laughs> Uh, it's 4.8%. Uh, it's got a 42 Ibu. Welcome to Calypso Island. Hang out here with us for a while. Our days are filled with bright, sunny fruits and cool, tropical breezes. Enjoy your stay. You're on island time now. Keep refrigerated. I, I feel like that's an instruction for the beer, not for you. <laughs> Let's start with the Calypso, I say. <laughs> It smells tropical. It smells islandy. It does smell kind of tropical. But remember, this is a West Coast IPA and can't be trusted. Nope. I smell tropical. All we can do is drink it. Hmm. If this was an IPA, it would be pretty good. You know what? That's, that's interesting. Because it's not super tropical. It's it's got a hard stop on it, on the on the on the taste. Like, it's there, it's there, it's there, and it's done. Really, there's, there's a flatness to all the flavors. Like nothing spiking. Fortunately, uh, the IPA taste doesn't linger. It's not bad though. Like like it's got this it's got this like essence of of like island, uh, but not genuinely island. It's a drink that does not outstay its welcome. It's, it's a very gentle, just kind of floating in the ocean, just vibing drink. And I kind of respect it for that. It's not, it's not trying to be punchy or strong in the tropical flavors. It's not trying to be super hoppy with, with the IPA. Like, it's all just kind of there. It's and like somebody was loved a flavorful beer grenade and they valiantly threw themselves on it. That's what this tastes like. <laughs> that poor man. Or or that, that delicious man. I well, don't he was saving us from from a night uh, an IPA nightmare. <laughs> so thank you, good sir, whoever you are. Yeah. Well, I mean I've tasted enough. I think we should just go for it. It's a green old time. Even chugging it, it, like, okay, it's got a little bit of linger when chugged, but that's just because of the quantity of it. Like, it's still, like, like, because... The chugging it tastes like pencil erasers made from mango. Oh, stop it, you. You flirt. Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, because... Ladies, <laughs> this tastes like pencil erasers made from mangoes. <laughs> If you want to be with tropical fruits, call me. <laughs> ah, well, like, like it's got the like the when drinking normally, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's gone. When you chug it, it's there, big, it's there, big, and then it's gone. And, Go figure. Yeah, I, I kind of really like that. It's really, it's a nice entryway drink to to tropicalness, tropicality. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. Tropicality is uh, my, my favorite Mortal Kombat finisher. Tropicality. <laughs> anyway, okay, but, uh, okay, we're done, we're done with that, so palate cleanser. Here we go. <laughs> now we're going with the, uh... It's time for some designment. Beer. 1992. 
It was a very good year. Actually, I don't remember what the hell happened in 1992. Something. Uh, Wait, when, when are you born in 1992? Who was born in 1992? There we go. What do you mean, wait, weren't one of you? <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody was. <laughs> 1992. I think that's when... Uh, when your sister was born. Yes. What, is it, is it lopsided? Yeah. Yeah, homie. It takes after my testicles. This smells like, like, like a wet wool sweater. You know what? You're right. For once, your your weird ass description is correct. <laughs> this does take it. It's got it's got that wet wolf smell, which I guess is appropriate considering that uh, c- considering the can. Maybe it was filtered through the old sweaters of Courier de Bois. Beaver pelt trappers. They were part of the Hudson Bay Company, right? Beaver pelt trappers. Leave those beavers alone, boys. Anywho, so there you go. Your, uh, I don't know what you'd call that. Geography? History? I don't know. It's a bunch of lessons, kids. So don't bother going to school. We'll learn you right here. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's taste this again. You mean taste it the first time? Oh, we haven't tasted it yet? No, we just smelled it. Oh my goodness. We're, okay. We're, where are you in the video? We're behind, man. Okay. Come on, brevity. Let's go. Ah. Hey, I like that. What? I do. You like that? Yeah. Hang on. Another go. Okay. That's a nice, calm ass IPA. I guess because it's dry hopped. I don't. I don't know. There, there's some. There's something. Something there. That I'm, that I'm like, are you sure? It's dry hopped like a rabbit. I'd web hop like a frog. Like it's as far as IPAs go, it's it's not IPA ish. No, that's what I like about it. But but there's still the, like that the hoppiness is still quite quite there. It it it, it does taste dry. Hoppiness. Like a, it's got that cute little hoppiness. Like I, I guess it, it 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 is drier, like a like a like a drier uh, wine or or champagne. I don't know. I don't know. I, because it's not so strong with the IPA, and it's a an overall pretty decent tasting beer. I like it. Let's try one more thing. Yep, I'm down with this one. Yeah, dry. Thank you, Duke the Brew, for making a dry hopped IPA that's not repulsive. It's. Anywho, okay, so uh, I guess we should do the thing. Yeah, let's do the thing. Okay, then. It's a Garino time. It doesn't really chug that well, in my opinion. No, I mean, it doesn't chug bad. It just does, it's, it's just, it's, it's just fine. Like, yeah, it's just okay. Uh, it's just... Uh, I'm not a fan of the chugging. But, uh, okay, uh, on the beer floor, I'm wearing a hat, and, uh, I'm gonna drink the most of these beers for you, our fan, you know who you are, or, oh, man, I can't hit that note. I know the note I want to hit, and I can't seem to hit it. Imagine my chagrin. Do, 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 do. One is clearer oh. than the other. Oh. oh, that one started getting kind of milky. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't rub in the fact that it's disgusting. <laughs> That's what I said to my wife. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Oh, okay. Beer floor, hat, schmutz. Let's go. I don't know. It's Tasted kind of creamy and foamy at the end, oh. but not in a pleasant way. I don't think it was supposed to be creamy and foamy. And the taste was uh, not great. Just saying, not great. Okay, so uh, now we got that out of the way. Uh, 
movie roundup uh, review thing that you know, what do you say, what do you know, and how do you do, what do you think? This is tough. <laughs> That's but, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think that you look at these and you go, okay, it's, it's more of this ilk. It, it could be, you know, ilk. Could be ilk. So um, ilk? Yeah, ilk. Like like so, something of that ilk. Like Ilka, She Wolf of the SS. Actually, there's a movie called Ilsa, She Wolf of the SS. Do you really not know the word? What? Do you really not know the word ilk? I know what the word ilk is. Oh. So. <laughs> it's dried milk. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um. Yeah. I feel like you look at these things and you go, like, you know, they'll be, they'll be fine at best. It could be, could be good, but, you know, eh, whatever. And then you, you take them in and you go, actually, you know what? That was surprisingly really good. Like, like better than, than, than a lot of its, of its milk. And uh, it's like, you know what? Pretty decent. Actually fun. And that's why these get a day after tomorrow out of ten. Day after tomorrow? Yep. Which one was that? That was the disaster movie in New York, uh, where like New York just completely fucking froze over. Oh, the freezing one. Yeah, the the uh, Roland Emmerich film. Yeah. Be- because that narrows it down. Who was I- in that? Um. Oh wait, was Randy Quaid in that? I think Randy Quaid was in it. No, was it? Was uh, it Kevin Bacon. No. Kevin uh, Bacon's in everything. Okay. Day after tomorrow. Yeah. Was it Dennis Quaid? Dennis Quaid. And Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake, oh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, a young Jake Gyllenhaal. Very young Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, and listen to his girlfriend played by, what's her name? From, uh... Kathy Ad- Rossum. Yeah, Ad- she... Adrian Brody. His, his girlfriend played by Adrian Brody. <laughs> well, Adrian Brody does have a girlish figure. But no, Amy Rossum, who was in, uh... It's so shameless, which I could never understand. Uh, you know, when I watched it, I, I kind of saw the comedy, but I was more horrified than, than amused. Like, this horrible people doing horrible things. It was like, Jesus Christ. That's It's Always Sunny as well. I know. I can only, I can only watch It's Only Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, oh, it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I can only watch it in, like, a little YouTube fragments. And I find them hilarious, but I remember watching a couple of episodes in their entirety. You can't watch shows like that. You can't binge watch them. Because then you feel like you need to take a shower because the characters are so fucking horrible. And just the non-slot horrible people doing horrible things. I don't know. I'm not I, I I'm just I'm not built for that. I don't have the I don't have the necessary sense of detachment. That being said, I mean no Sydney's Philadelphia is a great show. Uh, created by a wizard name, Rob Bacalini. Who uh, owns a Welsh football team with the Ryan Reynolds, the Canadian treasure. So there you go. So what was the movie? Oh yeah, for the day after tomorrow where everything freezes. Yep. There you go. Uh, day after the day after tomorrow, uh, out of ten. And I kind of get it. Yep. You know that's me, Mario. <laughs> Man, imagine if uh, Mary was stalking Princess Peach. And we're done. It's a me, Mario. Do you want to get sued by? I don't. I don't mean what I say, baby. Let me in. Do you want to get sued by by Nintendo? <laughs> how does he? How does he even know Princess Peach exists to save her? What? Like, how does he know there's a, there's a princess to save? She's not the snuffle up, I guess. No, but did they, did they ever meet before? Like, uh, yes. Meet, really? At what? Like a cocktail party? At her castle. Oh, she's getting wet. She has a castle. Blah, blah, blah. She's a princess. But how does the lowly plumber get into the castle? Did they have plumbing issues? No, he's a hero. A hero? Yes. Wait, he was a hero before he rescues the princess? I, I guess, yeah. Cause, cause he, because he stomped out mushrooms. Because everybody hates mushrooms. No, he, he shoved Donkey Kong off of a high rise. Jesus Christ. What kind of life does this guy live? So he pushed a giant gorilla off a high rise? Yeah. And for that, people lot him? Well, yeah. What, what was this giant gorilla going to do? Uh, 
while he was throwing barrels down down several uh, several levels of a high rise. And, he, and for that, this this giant gorilla deserves to be pushed off a building. Well, well, he did kidnap Pauline. Who the hell's Pauline? Pre pre Princess Peach and a uh, a a well beloved performer. Man, this Mario, he sounds like a player. First is Pauline, then it's Peach. I noticed there's a alliteration going with all these women he likes to date. And don't forget about Princess Daisy. There's a Princess Daisy. Yep. And also Rosalina. Oh my god. This man's a slut. <laughs> anyway, so he knew Princess Peach. Were they dating before she got the... Did she, does she get kidnapped? Yeah, by Bowser. The guy from Shanana? Grr. Arg. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser from Shanana. Scurrying away with Princess Peach. <laughs> Obviously, I don't know. Uh, I don't know enough about Mario. But man, uh, he's doing all this stuff and he's a plumber? Not that plumbers are... Plumbers uh, are your friend. They're your expensive friend, but they're your friend. Yeah. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. We're done. There you go. Beers are okay. So I guess we're out. Yeah, we're out. Okay then. I'm Ed. This is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers.